So hello gamers and welcome back to another video. So the RPK-74 was arguably and objectively kind of just the best gun in Phantom Forces during the last few months and then it got a couple of nerfs. But today we're going to be talking about if this gun is still very good. Firstly, let's talk about what it could do. Before, it could three-shot kill to the body to about 100 studs and two-shot kill to the head to about 90 studs. It had really low recoil, it did 24 damage over range, and it was extremely accurate as I said. So it was a 3-2 a four shot basically maybe a five shot in some scenarios but it had good ranges and everything so it wasn't really too bad now let's talk about what it can do now so it can three shot kill to the body to about 70 studs instead of 100 and it can only two shot kill head to about 60 instead of 90 studs the recoil is basically the same as it was before so very accurate however it does 21 damage a range instead of 24 so it lost three damage over range which means it's going to be a five shot kill basically every single time instead of mostly a four shot kill unless you're not hitting any headshots so first performance damage wise hits to kill wise range wise and i think it has less velocity as well not that it's that big of a problem the velocity is still really good so is this gun still really good i wouldn't say it's really the best gun in the game anymore there are plenty of other guns that do pretty good it still has 45 rounds it still does really good close range damage and the recoil is still pretty good so yeah i would say it's actually still a really really good gun but i would not say it's the best gun in the game so so on that front, it's not going to be a winner anymore, but I'd still say it's really good. So I wouldn't really like recommend not using it or anything. If you have the gun, I really recommend it. It's just not as crazy as it was before. I really like it. It's still a really fun gun and I really like how it sounds with the era suppressor. It will reduce your range and stuff, but like who cares, dude, it sounds awesome. I would definitely recommend you go for more headshots now to actually improve that damage at longer ranges. And if you're going for basically only headshots, the three shot kill range of it should be kind of similar to the old version. The hits to kill should be pretty similar and the damage over range should be about the same, you know, not as great. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Wow, we're impressed. Okay, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.